Howdy y'all and welcome back to Dad Tries to Play MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Call to Arms. Let's get going. So last time we took on part three of the DLC, we came up with a paint job, uh, picked up an assassin as part of our salvage, uh, too many points to get the catapult from that one. We needed 22, we only had 12, so nothing doing there. Uh, refit on that guy has 1.5 million C bills, so not something I'm willing to take on for something I already have. Yeah, let's let's keep on going. Those in need part four, Lyra Rebels. Commander, your performance up to this point has been exemplary, but we fear that your efficiency might make our objectives here too transparent to the outside observer. This could potentially lead to the Arcturn Guards identifying our organization, which is something we cannot risk. For our own safety, we'll need to throw the guards off our trail by attacking a military target, making this entire endeavor appear to me more as a clandestine military raid. We've identified a remote outpost that contains the Arcturan Guards' backup data center. Destroying this facility won't be enough to compromise Ben Flood's security, but should be enough for our actions here to appear that our objectives here were the destruction of this data center and not the systematic strikes against the Arcturan Guards themselves. Okay, so this one's going to be smashy smashy. We've got, uh, how long here? 18 days at most, okay. And 56 days until we have money due. We're gonna stay at Ben Fled. Uh, what else did I notice while I was poking about? So, gives you a little bit of thing. The, the quality of life stuff here has been really nice. <clears throat> uh, I like it quite a lot. This is, <clears throat> this is a way better structure that I think than the last one uh, even if it does sort of tab it onto two screens now it's nice to get a better look at uh, who's your employer who are you targeting where do you sit with them uh, even though the game doesn't dig too deep into that it would be nice if they did uh, although I know that your game can how you play the game can affect how the map appears uh, but even when you, you know, once you get into late game, even if somebody doesn't like you much, you're still getting plenty of money or salvage. Uh, Tourmaline Desert? Oh, I don't think we've done this one yet. Okay, this would be one of the new biomes. This is pretty good. I like this this setup better. Much, uh, much more visible. Uh, it's much more apparent what you're doing. We're going to do the same thing. We'll take salvage and sea bills. We're still at a buck 65, so we'll go with what we got. Uh, we're going to smash things, so I'll take the hatchet man again. Hazard pay is outlined. It's, it, it's, it's quite nice. This was a, a good get. Even if you don't get the DLC, you should get all this stuff. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Okay, we're going to wait 18 days, and then we're going to drop. So I guess the thing to look for now is once this is over, do I stick with this, or do I go back to my original play where I've got all the assaults and continue to do transmissions and, and hunt? This would be a bit of a start over. I think I'm probably going to slide back to the assaults and see if we can pick up some of the new mech types there. Especially since we've got a pretty... <laughs> that's pretty cool with the hatchet coming up. That's nice. Oh, yeah. That's a cool looking biome. I like it. And I've been pleasantly surprised. I figured one of the one of the things I noted was that I thought people would start getting hung up on all the stuff on the ground, but it looks like you can kind of walk through it. So uh, playtesting either found it or it was designed that way on purpose. Alright, everybody go get that spider. 
Oh, take that back. Go get the trebuchet. Man, where did you come from, mister? Alright, you gotta go away. You gotta go away fast. I don't know, I'm just gonna take him in the face. This is my, uh... This is my problem with melee. Now, granted, you get to shoot back, but, you know, if this guy were a little better, he wouldn't have backed himself into a corner. There we go. Alright. Alright, we're gonna get in here and just start shooting things. You guys worry about yourselves, you'll be fine. So I'm also not super wild about the, the smashing missions where you just have to sort of run along the walls because that's the only way to get as much damage down as you can get. But that's okay. We'll, you know, we'll shoot things and keep on going. Sort of have to keep hitting every little thing. I know it's the whole idea is to smash everything, but yeah, sometimes you get down to you know, five percent, and you're looking for that one little spot on the wall. We're gonna keep smashing. Oh, Liu, come on. Maybe you guys could all go attack that guy. Alright, I'll come looking for. Yep, yeah, you gotta go. Hmm, just missed him. Alright. Come on, there we go. Alright, get off the skies. We're gonna keep smashing. So, yeah, it takes quite a bit of... Quite a bit of doing. So, it's kind of fun, but uh, after a while, you know, you get down to like 30% here, and it just gets a little tedious. I'm like. We just smashed. Uh, they're not gonna rebuild. They got a long ways to go. Let's just keep on, keep on getting out of here. You're almost there, Commander. Only 25% of this area remains. You know, and then you, you wind up sort of staring at blank wall for a fair bit of the mission, which is. Good job, guys. Oh, <laughs> just missed him. Alright, everybody go get that panther. I'll keep smashing. Alright, 8%. We're getting there. 7%. 3%. Okay. Okay. Get that panther, and then we'll get out of here. Hey, come on over here. Alright, where's the evac? Let's get on out of here. Because we are soft in the middle. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, all right. Come on. Yeah, he's gonna... He might... Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get behind the wall here fast. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna show you an arm. Because I really, really don't want to get wrecked right as the mission ends. It's gonna be close. Okay. Yeah, one more shot. We're out of here. But we're gonna make it. I've confirmed with the IPS that we have satisfied the terms of our contract on this mission. Now let's get out of here before the Octuran guards come in force. Ah, I just missed him. Cool. So there's a mod that'll let you uh, buy salvage points. Uh, it is not installed, of course. So we're going to take uh, trash. Okay. That's fine. Three. <laughs> well, we still got to leave a point on the board. That one's rough. Should have taken cash. Oh, total payout's not too bad. Fair bit of damage. Oh, the Vindicator got wrecked. Okay. Didn't even do the most damage and got wrecked. Those need part four. Lyran Rebels. Great work, Commander. In addition to destroying the Arcturian Guard's data center, we've discovered that the guards appear to have been using their stockpile of hatchetmen to experiment with refitting a number of their own mechs with similar melee weapons. Well, it appears that these alternative melee weapons are nothing more than cosmetic knockoffs of the hatchet technology developed by Defiance. They each seem to have different offensive profiles when compared to the standard hatchet. As a performance bonus, we'll provide you with a few samples of the weapons we salvage from the facility. These weapons appear to be compatible with the hatchet man we've provided you, so we do hope you can put them to good use. Cool. We'll, uh, we'll take them and give them a look. So we're up to 3 million sea bills again, which is pretty good. We're going to get... Uh, you know what? We're not going to do you just yet. Wow, we need a PPC. That hurts. Uh, you need a medium laser. That is okay. Let's check our loadout here. Yeah, we lost our good peep. All right. Um, hmm. Put the large laser in there. We've got a couple of PPCs. I'll just give you PPC. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that small laser. The LRM and the ammo in the legs there. Can I max you up again? Yeah. Can I drop a couple of heat sinks and max you up again? No. Okay. So heat sink. And I could probably give you another half ton, but at fives, I don't think I need to. Might drop one jump jet. And we're still. All right, let's put the jump jet back in there. Do we need a half ton of something? I could. We'll take a couple off of here. A couple off of the arms. And a couple out of the head. Okay, feels a little better. I wonder if we had an ammo explosion. That's if so, that's on me. Five hundred thousand eighty days though. That's a killer. Let's check what we got. So we can now add knuckles, huh? Okay. Twenty-two and a half damage. Pretty good. So it really, it really does want you to sort of run in there and box. No, I was getting hot with two heat sinks. I could drop a ton of ammo and be really melee focused. I could drop the jump jets, have not used them. 
All right, so that gives us two tons. So I'll add the AC-10 ammo back and I'll drop in a heat sink. We'll put it in the head, why not? Okay, that looks good. Okay, that was part four. Okay, so those need part five. The DLC said there were five missions, so I'm expecting that this is going to be the last one. We'll pick that up next time. If you've got any tips or tricks for me, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, thanks for watching.